Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are back on Lake Berryessa. We were here a few days ago throwing a jerk bait. Well, today we're back. We brought the jerk bait, a swim bait, and some top water. Let's go. If you missed our last video out here, throwing a jerk bait and a fluke, we'll link it for you down in the video description so you could get caught up. But basically at the end of that video, we found some busting fish. We adapted, we went to a nose hook fluke and we caught some fish. Well, when I got home, I started feeling like maybe we left something on the table. Maybe we should have fished for those fish some more. So I finally got the opportunity to get back down here. We're just here for a quick evening session. It's, what time is it? It's 5.30, so we've got maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and we have got to go. We're gonna go back to those same fish with a variety of baits, see if we can put some more in the boat. Now the weather has been pretty stable since the last time we were here. Not much has changed. Obviously those fish were busting bait, so if the bait's gone, we're in trouble. But assuming the bait is still here, we should be able to pick up where we left off. We're here in the evening, which gives us lower light, which should have these fish acting more aggressive, more willing to chase, more willing to commit. We'll find out. little guy but that's a start absolutely choked that little 2.8 kitek and I do mean choked it Looks like a little spotted bass. Nice. Oh, there he goes. First a large mouth and a spot. This is a smallie. Oh, actually, crossbreed. Half smallie, half spotted bass. Just throwing that little 2.8 Kitek on a guppy head. Let's go to a bigger Kitek, see if we can get a bigger fish. We'll try the fluke as well.
Well, in an interesting twist, there's another boat here. We are not the only people that know about these fish. We're going to give them some space so we can't do the things I planned on doing. But, you know, we're getting bit. We're fishing the fringes of this. We'll see uh, if we can get a few more. I was hoping we could get some of these fish going on top water. They're not eating the fluke either. One just came up busting right here. Wait, it may just be a 2.8 Kitek kind of a deal. I really wanted to get in tight position and fire at some of these fish as they busted, but if we did that, we'd be rude. I'm just gonna stay out here on the edges, fire back in. Well, that did not go according to plan. We came all the way down here, ran up, got to the spot, came right around the corner into it, and there was a boat there. Still caught three quick fish off the fringe as well, two and a half, I guess we lost that spot on the side but um, got three bites right away, just out on the fringes on that 2.8 Kitek. But I don't want to get any closer to these people. They're just out here having a good time. We happen to be on the same fish. They're their fish now, so we are out of here. Uh, I didn't really have a backup plan. I was just gonna run up here and try and have a good time with you for a little bit. Let's run down the lake and uh, we'll hit a few. There's no really similar areas, what we were on here is kind of a, a horseshoe. It's got a natural pinch point. That's where those bass are sitting, and when shad try and get in or out, they ambush them. There's nowhere else on this lake that's really like that, but what we can do is run some long tapering points, things of that nature, and see if we can find some fish that are ambushing out on the end. So let's go give it a try. Great big slab crappie. The crappie on this lake have made a huge comeback in the last few years. They're getting big. That's awesome. That one ate it on the fall. <laughs> oh, there are great big bass in this lake. This used to be my home lake. I'm very blessed to catch quite a few double digits out of here over the years, little spotted bass. But uh, that's not what we're doing today. Right now these fish are moving up, they're aggressive. We're just having a good time. A nice smallie sitting up alongside this bush up here. I just bumped the Kitek along the bottom next to it. Out he came. Little 
better quality fish than what we've been catching too. Hey. We are a one hit wonder with the 2.8 Kitek tonight. We got really clear water. I think I told you guys that when we were out here the other day, but it's uh, crystal clear, you know, 15, 20 feet of visibility, uh, way clearer than normal. We've had very little rain this winter, so it's created a pretty amazing little environment here. So I'm throwing that TW Ghost Shad, the just super clear Kitek, and it's working. Lost him. Darn it. That was a good one. Maybe three pounds. Chase the Kitek right to the boat. Maybe two and a half pounds. That's so awesome. He just turned around and came back and got it. Definitely our best one so far. Nice smallie. You know what's awesome about this? This is, this is one of those rare circumstances where gear is everything. Gear makes the day. And what I mean by that is, you know, we're not catching the biggest fish in the world today. Uh, but we knew that going in. So I adapted my equipment. If I was out here with a 7.6 heavy flipping stick, this would not be fun at all. You know, you'd hit these fish, flip them in the boat, that'd be the end of it. But because I knew the caliber of fish that we were likely to catch, obviously I'm hoping we get a bigger one, but I know the bulk of what we're gonna catch. I didn't come out here with a bunch of oversized equipment. This is a 6.10 medium light spinning rod. It's an X-Pride. We've talked about X-Pride for years. It's an ultra high-end feel. Incredibly sensitive, insanely light, and in the medium light, super soft. But it's extra sensitive, so you get that ultra high-end feel for a mid-range price. It's like mid-200s. You know, it's not a budget rod, but it's not a $700 rod either. But it feels like it. It's incredible paired up with that new Stratic, and that Stratic has some of the components from the, the Stella and some of the other really, really high-end reels. So because we're using high-end gear that's really light, 10-pound braid, 7-pound line, you hook a fish like that on a 2.8 swim bait, and you might as well have an 8-pounder on a big swim bait. I mean, they just bulldog and pull, and it's a blast. I could not be having more fun than I'm having right now. And we're not catching the biggest fish. It's just a good time. I 
see one sitting on a bed. <laughs> I sure do. Nice. Let's wrap it up on that one, guys. This turned out to be a good evening. Totally not the plan. I thought we'd come out here with a variety of baits, you know, throw that fluke back out there, get them fired up, switch to top water, maybe catch one of the big ones. If they wouldn't do it, switch to the little swim bait, catch them that way. But you know, we fish on public water belongs to everybody there's somebody there it is what it is they have every right to it just like we do I hope they smashed them tonight because as a result we started running around doing some different things catching fish and I really enjoyed my time with this combo I mean <laughs> this was our whole our whole video right here our, our whole evening 2.8 kitek and a spinning rod catching nice fish it was a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Like every video, we'll link all the gear down in the video description, and we'll talk to you soon.